it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Today we're going to take a file, a cake topper file from another crafter from a mother's craft, Jessica. And I'm going to show you how to manipulate the file in design space and then show you what that cut screen looks like. And you can catch us on Instagram on a live of us assembling it together. So, all right, before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the support that I can get. All right, so um, she is selling the file on Etsy, so the link should be in the description. And so we're just gonna go, um, here is the upload, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's super cute, and it incorporates acetate. So let me show you. I haven't finished mine, but, you can kind of see it's a shaker and it's just very adorable. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. So let's look at all the different layers. So the first thing is if you look at, um, let's ungroup this for a second and I'm just going to move this out of the way. All right, we're going to go and ungroup this because it's all moving together. You want to ungroup it here and ignore these flowers for now. I'm going to move it to the side. But look at this and see how big do you want this cake topper? So, or um, she's using it as um, a, a little, not a cake topper, but it goes in your flowers. So if you're gonna give a bouquet, it's gonna come out. So it's like a mini, I don't even know what you call it. One of those bouquet picks or whatever. <laughs> but um, uh, if you're gonna use it for that or for your cake topper or just to have like a cute shaker around, figure out your sizing. What you wanna do is you wanna put your flower on the inside so that when you go to regroup this, everything gets, uh, re or when you go to resize it, everything gets resized proportionately. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger because I want all the details. So I'm gonna do it at Let's change this to the width to seven inches, and that's gonna be the size of my cake topper. So what you're gonna do is now you can move all these pieces aside. Um, this bear, hold on, let's move, let's move all of this aside. This bear right here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to flatten it. It's gonna be a print then cut. Now before you do that, if you wanna add details, you can add the details now. So for instance, I might just put a little C for my daughter's name. I'm gonna change it right here. I'm gonna add it. Um, and maybe, maybe I'll do C and A. And I'll change it to something cute. I'm gonna go to one of my sister, or actually one of my bookmarks. Let's see if I have anything cutesy in here. I haven't been good about saving things. So let's see what Amelia looks like. Oh, that's kind of cute. All right, I'm gonna make this much smaller and maybe change the color to pink, okay? Now to make sure that it really stands out, what I can do is I can do an offset. So let's go to the offset and we can make a really, really thin offset. This is because it's print then cut. We, you know, we're not dealing with the layers. Let's make it 0 0.05 and see what that looks like. I'm gonna make it even smaller. Um, oops, and let me make this bigger so you can see what, what we're looking at. Okay, so grab this. I'm gonna go back to offset and I'm gonna make it 0 0.075 and let's see what that looks like. Oh no, I want it to go smaller. 0.025. All right, I like that. I'm gonna apply, and I'm gonna make that offset white. Oops. Just so that I can really see it. The other thing is, let's go. And you know what, I should have grabbed these two and grouped it so that it moves together as one piece. Okay. Now, if you want the heart a different color, now is the time to change it. Or the bear a different color, like I said, this is the time. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So let's go and click on this. And let's say the bear, um, let's say for the ears, I wanna make the ears a more pinkish color, okay? 
you can go and you can click on the heart. Let's say you want the heart to be purple and you can click on advance. If that purple is not the purple that you want, you can start changing it here, okay? So let's say you like that. Now I'm gonna grab this whole thing and I'm gonna flatten. And look how cute that little bear is. Okay, so she has this bear up here. These flowers are going to be in, I mean, you can put the bear anywhere. You can make adjustments to this. So this is all grouped together. You can make this a little bit smaller if you wanted to so that you can see more of your shaker. You can make it bigger so it goes past your shaker. You can change almost anything, but because there are layers to this, if you're gonna change your XO, you wanna make sure that you're changing all three layers of your XO. And for this, it might be easier to group it even so that you know when you're moving this around um, that all the layers are getting resized at the same time. So it's a super fun, cute file. I'm gonna move this over here just to see if I wanna do anything and then we can move, oops, let's move these flowers down. And you can change the colors of the flowers, all of that, okay? So this will go all the way in the back. Arrange, send to the back, so that you're not gonna see the, ac the acrylic, or the acetate. And you can add your flowers here. You can do, you know, you can add other images too, and flatten as well. All right. So I think that's all that there is to it. You can change the colors, like I said, of any element. So let's go and make it and I'll show you what you have. So here's your print then cut. I personally, um, I always like to stack mine. So I'm gonna do two copies of this. I mean, you can you know, do maybe even three. So you're gonna print then cut that. This is your white layer and you can move this to make this a little bit more efficient. Um, actually, you can even move it in here if you wanted to, because this is just the layer that's gonna go on, on your heart, if you can see it right here. Okay, this is your acetate layer. So, um, you know, you could do something like this so that the rest of your acetate, if you have a 12 by 12, you can save it. Um, this probably could be <laughs> better arranged, but that's okay. All right, this is the center of your pet, um, of your flower. This right here is your foam layer. If you wanna cut this in foam, you can, or you can use the um, foam strips from Barely Art, which is what I'm using. All right, here are more flowers. These are the rolled flowers. These are, these little flowers are so cute. You're going to crease the middle of each petal and so they pop up, if you can kind of see. They're very 3D-ish. I really like these flowers. This is the scalloped heart and you can do something like this. These are the XOs in on the acetate. You can do that. This is the centerpiece, the heart, and the word Happy Valentine's. And oh, we can't get, you know what? Let me see if we can. Hold on. Let's move these down for a minute. Let's move this up here. And let's see if we can fit this on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Okay. I think, I think we're gonna be close. We can use the insides of this because we're, that's just the um, outline on the heart. So we can move this in here. Oh, I think we can do it. I can move this down and add Valentine's right here. Move this down. 
So instead of two sheets of cardstock, <laughs> we're gonna do it with one. All right, that looks good. Just make sure that nothing is overlapping. And that's all you have. So, oh, you know what? I made two copies of everything. We only need one copy. The only two copy thing is the print then cut. But if you're gonna make more than one, this is how you do it and it's still on the same sheet of paper. <laughs> um, all right, I will link the description below. Let me know what you think. It's just a super simple file and it's so fun. I wanted to show you how to do, how to flatten to make that into a sticker or into a print then cut. And then also um, just how to customize someone else's SVG file. All right, have a great day. I hope to see you in Texas at XOXO Craft Girls. The link to that is also down here. Um, that is happening this weekend, Valentine's Day weekend, 2023. So if you can still make it, you should. There's a special meet and greet with about 15 uh, crafters, creators. Um, if you make it to an in-shop, um, an in-person workshop, then you are invited to the special meet and greet that's happening on Saturday in between workshops one and two. So I hope to see you there. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.